Okay, guys and gals, it's time for a sneak preview of this season's peppers. It is July the 19th and 2024. We are growing roughly 4,000 peppers this year. I do not have an exact count, but I saw day before yesterday some peppers that was a pepper that was almost ripe. I saw today another one that looks like it's ripe. I was standing up so I didn't bend over and check it. I had two baskets of in my hand. And I know there's a few more. So let's go take a pepper tour. See what we got going on. See if it's interesting. I'm excited. Huh, this is usually about the earliest we see stuff like super hot start to ripen and stuff like that. So let's take a look. So this is purple bubble gum. And I spotted down here somewhere a ripe one. I stepped on the plant. See it? Shame on me. Let's see. Well, she could use another day or two, but she's ready. We'll take our time and kind of stroll through some of these. So over here is our pumas. And I spotted I think Maybe it wasn't there. There we go. Looky there. Stunning. Oh, I got a book I didn't bring down with me. So that was supposed to be a Fogon. Obviously, it's not. Very interesting. All right, I got another one for us here, guys. My hand back in here. We've already been picking these, so this ain't a big surprise. Scotch bonnet. Nice. Somebody joined me. Look over there, it's Tiffany. Well, it's her backside anyway. She might turn around and talk to us instead of just showing us her backside. I'm not sure. I don't think she's going to talk to us. I think we only get her backside. What? We've been trying to talk to you and you wouldn't even turn around. There was a plane and there was a car. Oh, excuses, excuses. Loafer all weekend. You think you don't got to pay attention to the camera. Loafer or driver. Uh, you've been loafering. Hours. I've been here slaving, keeping the farm alive, and you've been gone. Driving in poor Gone. For eight hours. She's been gone. She left me. She deserted me. She just left me to deal with all of it. She didn't help me at all. Trying to stay awake for eight hours straight in a strange bed and sleeping overnight without my, my partner. Whatever. 
<laughs> so this little section is some puma crosses we're working with and these are just in their f2 even though most of them have come back looking almost identical to each other this little guy has got our beautiful purple leaves and purple stems but not so purple so interesting very cool so they're starting out green and purple and then work on their way up to that red. So, be exciting to see what we got. Take a look at these. These are Magnum Habaneros. So it's an orange variety. This one back here is not ripe, it's just damaged. So It's not a good pepper. But that's a small, a small, they get a lot bigger than that, but that's not a good pepper. You can see the darkness inside of it. That's why it's matured early. But we are hanging in clusters under here. Over here, we have giant white habaneros and if we can see it from here there is paper lanterns and then way back there the snow white habaneros so if you're wanting a great selection of habaneros and you want some fresh pepper pods, we should be able to help you out. Our website is a differentchickfarmandorchard.com and we also have an Etsy page. Um, on the website we focus on half pound, pound, two pounds and on uh, Etsy we do uh, some assortments, some competition packs if you're wanting to you know, have a uh, festival or whatever in your area. And we do our small boxes, which are like 12 peppers, 24 peppers, stuff like that. So be sure to check us out. Again, our website's a differentchickfarm.com. All right, I'm gonna head over to the super hots and see what's going on over there. So again, I've got a pepper that's ripe, but it's only ripe because it's damaged. So let's take a look. These are apocalypse scorpions. Obviously, that is not a good pepper. Yuck. What we got going on up there? So there's a couple of more apocalypse up through there that are turning. So any day now. So exciting. We're at the point now we're going to start checking the jungle about every three days. It's, it's cool. Check out these white ghosts. They'll maybe ready by the weekend. Awesome. So, all in all, not a lot of Habs and Super Hots. Uh, we've got Ralph Thompson squash that are ripening, Hungarian paprikas, uh, Joe's Long Hots, um, nope, sorry, Miles Red Hots. That's a large cayenne type. We got hot cherries that are ripening, um, Bollocks, Dirksons. So. I've got the white ghosts that are getting close. 
So it, it's about to, I'd say we're about two weeks from this breaking loose for us. So excited. If you got pepper pods ordered, they're probably around the corner. So look here. So mostly some pumas. And then our little cross down there from our relics. And one scotch bonnet. And then one apocalypse scorpion that's not really ripe, more damaged. And then we have our purple bubblegum. So, all in all, it's exciting. Sorry about that. You can see the pepper jungle is taking shape. Things are looking good. And let's go take a look at our extreme pepper jungle. So this is just a little experiment we got decided to have fun with. These plants here were really, really young in this roll, and we didn't think they'd make it, but we gave it a shot. So I'll probably come back in here and replant with something else. You can see the plants are starting to take shape. We'll probably be ready to start picking cayennes out of this this week or next week out of the cayenne section, which is there. And Tiffany, of course, has been eating the bequinos about as fast as they can grow. We're hoping to get to pickle some of those. So, all right, guys, I know it was a short video. I didn't expect it to be a long one. I was hoping we had more peppers than that ripening, but I kind of figured we didn't. So, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe. There'll be a whole lot more videos coming as we harvest and get into the midst of our season. And we'll be trying some peppers, of course. See you guys.